we've got our magazines loaded. What do you say we put our ear protection on and start shooting? Sounds great. Now with your magazines, it's important that your cartridges are placed all the way to the rear and that they are level as they sit in the magazine. Otherwise, you'll have feeding issues. Okay. And these look pretty good. So let's go ahead and load your rifle. Now we're going to get ready to load the chamber and I want you to push that bolt forward like you mean it. Full okay. force all the way forward. If you baby the bolt forward, there's a good possibility that you'll get a misfeed. What we don't want to be doing is watching while the cartridge goes in. That tends to slow us down on the bolt and that will tend to cause a misfeed. Can we check for a misfeed? Yes, exactly. We're going to do a chamber check. You'll use your left hand to be able to feel that there's a cartridge in the chamber. I can feel sure, it. Sure, you can look, but sometimes you want to use your eyes to look at something else or it's too dark. Okay. Good. You're ready to go. Now, before we get started, let's make sure that our feet are completely flat on the ground. Because any movement in the feet actually transfers right up the body and moves the entire unit here, including the rifle. So feet on the ground first. Now you can go ahead and get into your good shooting position. Because we're trying to see where the rifle is shooting relative to the optic, take as much time as you need to get as perfect a shot as you can. We're going to shoot five rounds. Especially when you have a clean rifle, you want to shoot more than three in case you've got a couple of flyers. But I like to shoot five rounds anyway, just in case we have a couple of flyers. So first I need to find my natural point of aim? Yes. We should think about it like we're trying to shoot one perfect round five times. Okay, I think I'm on point. Okay. Now in the future, I want you to keep that trigger finger higher up until you are ready to place it on the trigger. Okay, you're on your natural point of aim. Start controlling your breathing. As you're doing that, as you're oxygenating, it is fine to disengage the safety. That way, once you're ready to hold your breath, your trigger finger can go right to the trigger. First, the trigger finger makes contact with the trigger, and then it starts the press. It doesn't swoop down from the finger straight position all the way through the trigger. It makes contact first, and then a nice press. Good. Okay, that was enough time for follow through. Are you trying to look for that hole through the scope? Uh, maybe. Yeah, okay, well, you know what? The hole is going to stay there. I've never seen them run off. <laughs> so what I want you to do is start right here and get good shooting habits in. So you're going to follow through on the trigger and the sight picture. Once that's done, run that bolt. Good, and all the way forward, good. If you are ready to shoot again, you may continue. If you want to take a break, safety on, take a short break, take a breath, or if you need to take a longer break, unload the gun. You can start all over again later. Good shooting so far. All right, Lori, we've got a good group going. Let's, let's shoot one more, and then we'll change magazines and complete the five-shot string. All right, now we're going to change magazines. Now, one of the features of this rifle is that you can have the safety engaged and still operate the bolt and open the action. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's close the bolt. Engage the safety. All right. And now we can go about loading the rifle and doing whatever we need to do before okay. we start shooting again. I just like to have the safety on when you've got a rifle that has that feature because you never know. A finger might brush the trigger on its way back or whatever. This is just an extra added safety element. Better safe than sorry. Absolutely. All right. Good. All right. Nicely we'll done. Get back in position. Right. And we'll do one more. Control your breathing. I want to remind you that you're looking only at the crosshairs as you press the trigger, not at the target whatsoever. Looked 
Good, follow through, good. All right, so Lori, let's unload the rifle so that we can talk about other stuff. Okay. So the safety is on because we know we can operate the action with the safety on. Let's unload the chamber first and leave that bolt back. And what that does is make sure that nothing is in the chamber, number one, and with the bolt back, of course, the rifle is inoperable. Right. Leaving it in that condition, go ahead and extract the magazine. Good. And let's just verify quickly with a finger in the chamber that there's nothing in that chamber. Good. Like that. All right. Good.